All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, collectors. I'm John, and today we're taking a quick look at how to build the cheapest under $10 diorama for your 112 action figures. All you're going to need is some scrapbooking paper and some foam core board and turn it into this for under $10. building a wall and a floor. First thing you're gonna need is this foam core board. You can pick this up at most hobby shops, just like Michael's, Joann's, Walmart even has it, Dollar Store even has it, right? Um, I picked this one up uh, 20 by 30 for 4.99, so five bucks. That's half our budget right there. I wanted a little sturdier uh, material just because you know, I just it's gonna I'm gonna be using this for a lot of dioramas, and it's also gonna be moved a lot, as I do plan on making both sides different styles. So, get your foam cord board. Next up, you're gonna need some cutting tools. I have just a little box cutter here, and some scissors. I'm also gonna be using this metal ruler to help me get some straight cuts. Next, we have our backgrounds. So I'm using this, this is scrapbook paper. Um, you can pick this up again at most hobby shops and you know, like uh, craft stores, again, Michael's, Joann's. I picked up this brick one and this wooden floor one. Um, and I did get two of each. These all, these do run a dollar per page. So 99 cents per page. So I got one, two, three, and four of them. Just if you wanted to do that one side, I'm gonna be doing two brick uppers and then two wooden floor, two wooden floors. So that's kind of how my layout's gonna be. Now I did wanna go out. So that again, so four pieces of paper plus the foam core board, you're looking at nine dollars there. <laughs> so again, under 10 bucks to get you started on this your first style. Hopefully, you have these other supplies like scissors or an exacto knife, or I'm using a box cutter, just some kind of sharp. You know, razor blade to help you get some clean cuts on the foam cut board. You don't want to use scissors on the foam cord board. We'll go over that a little later. Also, in regards to glue, how are you going to get that paper onto it? I'm going to be using this multi-purpose spray adhesive just because it's just going to be easier for me. I don't recommend using this Elmer's glue. If it's your only thing, use it. Just make sure you smooth out any bubble, any like pooling of the glue. It's better to use a glue stick if you have one. Again, if this is your only option, it's still, you can still do it. It's just, just gotta make sure that you smooth everything out. Um, but I'm gonna be using this spray adhesive. I had this already on hand. Um, but go over the backgrounds. I'm also gonna be doing a kind of like wood tile flooring. I don't think you can see the detail on that. Here, let me hold it up a little better. And then also a white brick background. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I will be using both sides. So I did increase my budget on my end, but you don't have to, right? You can just get the four sheets uh, of two floors, two walls, and the foam core board for under $10. Hopefully you have the other supplies. If you don't, just, you know, see if you can pick it up, help you out there a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get started.
guys, I had a blast building this diorama. Look at the versatility of this cheap diorama. You can use different scaled figures, you can bring any story to life. And the best part, of course, is that it's so affordable, under $10. You can create multiple different versions, get different types of paper, different backgrounds, and of course, add any extra furniture. If you're excited about this cheap and simple DIY diorama, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Now, comment down below your DIY diorama stories and ideas, and let us know what your experience was like. Let's inspire each other. As always, keep playing, keep collecting, and may the action figure gods smile upon you. Peace.